Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm going to walk you through another example of present value of cash flows. This one's going to be a little bit more complicated than the simple one that we did uh, earlier with just one cash flow in one year. It's going to ask, what's the present value of the following cash flows? So here you're going to see we have four different cash flows happening at four different time periods in four years. So if we look this on the line here, you have $795 happening in year number one at the end of year number one. $945 happening at the end of year number two, $1325 at the end of year number three, and $1860 at the end of year number four. The question is, well, what's the present value of the sum of these cash flows back here uh, all the way at time period zero? So here, uh, the given rate to us in this question is going to be 10%. And so the question is, well, hey, what's the present value of these cash flows? And so a real simple way that we can do this is using the NPV function, net present value function in Excel. So if we did that, all we have to press is equal NPV. Okay, open parenthesis. It's going to ask you for the rate first. Well, it's given to us here. The rate's going to be 10%. Comma, and then it's going to ask us for... Uh, our cash flow. So in the NPV function, we're going to always start with your number one going through your number four. So all we have to do is highlight uh, these four cells here. This gives us our four cash flows that we're trying to discount back to uh, the present value, close parenthesis, enter. All of a sudden it says, hey, the present value of these four cash flows happening at these four different times is $3,769.62. So that's the easy way we can do it on Excel. How do we do it on the calculator? BA2 plus, we open it up here. Uh, and here we're gonna use, guess what? The NPV function on the calculator. So first of all, we have to put our cash flows in. So uh, we go into cash flows, it says CF zero equals, well, this is cash flow at time zero. We have no cash flow at time zero. This, this is blank here. So we just simply hit the down arrow, it says C01. Well, cash flow at time period one is just gonna be this $795, okay? And third, we hit the down arrow, the frequency, this is only gonna happen once, this cash flow happened only one time period in a row, so we put that, leave that as one. Cash flow at time period two, this is gonna be 945, enter, hit the down arrow. Again, the frequency, this happens, this only happens once. Okay, cash flow at time period three is gonna be 1325, Enter, hit the down arrow. How many times is this happening? Again, frequency of that cash flow only happens once. Okay, cash flow at time period four is going to be 1860. Okay, hit the enter button. Uh, again, how many times does this happen? This only happens once. So we have all our cash flows within there. We can come out of that now just to clear. Uh, and the next component here, we're going to go to MPV. Okay, and so the MPV is going to say, well, what's the what's the interest rate you want me to discount these cash flows at? Again, the interest rate here that we did was 10%. So we put 10% in there, hit enter, and hit the down arrow. It comes to NPV. NPV is going to say equal to zero because we have to press compute here first. And once we press compute, it's going to give us our answer. And our answer corresponds to what we had calculated in Excel, $3,769.62. So there's an example of how you can compute uh, uneven cash flows uh, in Excel using the NPV function and also uh, using your BA2 plus calculator. So if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching.